Uh, Optimus Prime, thanks to the 3 month 3 sub Prime to Buddy Mind. Thank you. Your champion. In case you didn't know, you get here by winning. Good Duke luck. of Orange, thanks to the Prime sub. Thank you, Duke. All right. So, yo, here's what we're going to do. This is likely going to be chaotic. I'm going to jump right into Thunderdome. I really like the loot here. There's a lot of verticality. So, for a Pathfinder, we can try to use height and the high ground to our advantage. Um, honestly, probably the best place to land would be the very top, right off the rip. I'm going to land there. I imagine some other players are going to try to land there as well. Um, it would help if I usually would land up here because I don't know the best places to jump down. I don't think this guy got a... Yo, I stopped him from getting the, uh, I killed the armor by grappling him. You get a little bit stunned when you get grappled by the, uh, Pathfinder. So that helped out. Now we're gonna try to use these guys against each other. Go. I'm gonna fling myself out. They're both running around on that side. Any enemy of my enemy is my friend. And let's say stay glued to you. <laughs> For the remainder of time. I'm just gonna back out here. There's so many people. I might re-engage. Like I got enough for my trowler. But if we stick around and we get collapsed on by all the players, it's gonna be a bad time for us, so. We're gonna have to see what they do. But really something big in solos is gonna be trying to use enemy players to your advantage. I'm gonna fling myself up the high ground here. Like if we're both close like that, it's gonna help him make a play on me a little bit more. But if I get the high ground, I've got a much bigger advantage. See now, now this guy is helping me out. Got a Bangalore pushing up. Try to launch Rings himself far. out over here. Minute to go. Pay close attention to the sound. We'll take him out here. I now we now enemy. we go for the Bangalore. Give my my shield's, shields back up. I'm trying to smoke on my left, but I imagine he's trying to make a play over there. Or he just tried to smoke me. He's still under us. Can you open the pod? Right now I still have the high ground. He could try to come over here and climb up. One thing is if he starts climbing, we got a little bit of a, a time where he has to grapple the wall. That's going to allow us to get some damage on him. He's still just chilling out below us. He doesn't really seem like he's going to be interested in the fight. And we got another guy up top. You know, we'll just back out here. This Bangalore now, it sounds like he's gonna try to push us. Not even a Bangalore. That one was a Wraith, wasn't it? Still maintaining. Laser. Alright, we gotta back up now. We gotta kite and heal up. When you get far enough away, yeah, we got time to heal. Seemed like he had a pretty good shot. But now. He has to end up fighting someone else. So he gave us time. Now we got a, a bloodhound up on the spine with us, it sounds like. Obviously, we can see his ping or his Q ability. When you hear all these gunshots start popping off, you know, there's a guy pushing him from one side. We know someone's below us. Often, you know, other people are coming to that point, too. It might be time just to leave. You stick around too long. Third parties are coming in. Probably time to reposition. So we heard more gunshots over this way. Right now, I'm thinking to myself, I need to get a little, some more, some more meds. Obviously, we don't have any like first aid syringes. We've got a couple there. I need to get some more light ammo. I obviously, would like to kit out my light weapon. I'm getting pushed by an RT. He's on the rooftop. 
He's got high ground on us right now. I'm just gonna back out. Grappling. Just get myself out of there. Rather than try to, you know, fight vertically up at him, just reposition. You know, he's got the advantage in that fight right then. It's either one, we go up and challenge him for the high ground, or. Oh no! Watch this get out of there. Because if we fight him when he has the high ground, he's got too good of an advantage, man. Too easy for him to peek over and fight us. Recharging shields. Shoot us in the head. And I mean, he can heal up anytime. Just backing up. Alright, so we got more fights going on. Like, we've got good armor and we're not terrible on gear. But really what I'm thinking to myself right now is I'd really like to third party somebody and get their their gear. So we, we're in a little bit better of a spot. This hemlock. So you can see right there, Snapchat or Snapcase live. Right? Right? He just won this fight here. Listen to the gunshots. It was a hemlock. He gets the kills, so he's probably looting the body right now. Very likely. So we might just chill here for a second and see if he comes out. He's got to move out. You can hear him now. Yeah, he's just reloaded. If I knew exactly where he is, he's on the box. So we called it. He's running the backside now. He's going to have to move in. The zone's going to push him. I think this is that octane. So now he has to push us. Zone's pushing him. He's getting low. He's going to have to be at this rock. No, he went back inside, huh? I'm surprised he didn't go down to the zone right there, to be honest. There we go. Um, we're going to go in for the finish. He's at the self res. We'll get his self res. We'll take all the gear here. Two bodies worth of gear. Um, at first, I thought he went behind the rock, but. You just get back inside the compound. I guess they aren't the kill leader now, right? But just by getting in the zone there, the position ourselves, uh, positioning ourselves like that, anyone. he's the one getting pressured getting by the zone. He has to move into us. We've got time on our side. He's taking damage outside the zone. Repairing. He's getting hit by the zone and causing uh, what's the word? It's it's eluding me right now. Um, aim punch. Excuse me. Yeah, he's taking aim punch, like, it's gonna make it so his aim's worse on us. Seconds. That's half a minute. See ya. Repairing the damages. Get inside the zone. It's not necessarily a bad thing to met up there, a little bit outside the zone, if you think someone might be camping on the inside waiting for you. I never heard anybody though, and didn't get shot, so. At first I was like, should I med up here? No, let's get inside, hit the med kit then. Save the uh, the meds. It's not a wrong play though, if you want to play a little bit more safe, just med up in the zone so you got close to full HP before you push in. At least at this stage of the game where the zone isn't hitting that hard. Later on, that might be uh, an issue. You might not be able to do that. So we got we got another fight happening. Sounds like I'm on the opposite side of bunker. Probably on this hill. If I'm paying attention to the sound. So right now we're getting down to the late game. We got six players left. We got at least two fighting on that hill. I could swing around there. Something to think about as well. In games like this, often the players that are gonna be fighting like this, especially like prolonged fights, they're usually gonna be the better players in the round. A lot of the time, you're gonna have people hiding in the end game, right? Just trying to sneak their way in. Like Doc was commenting on, uh, commenting on it earlier. Like yes, that. Sometimes in the end of my games, it seems like I'm up against a bunch, a bunch of uh, <laughs> third graders. Well, that's mainly due to the fact that if you kill the better players early in the game, the only ones left are gonna be the ones hiding. You're often gonna end up fighting the better players a little bit earlier on. Because the players that aren't as good, that are just hiding, trying to make it in the top, I mean, obviously you're not going to find them. So if you can eliminate a lot of the the better players early, your end game might be super easy. 
So I just heard footsteps to our left. Seems like everybody's around here right now. Thinking about my position, I don't really like where I'm at. Because I'm in the low ground, people can pinch me from the sides. So, I'm going to back up a little bit. It depends on where the circle is going to go here. If we want to get real sweaty with it. I was hoping there was a beacon behind us, but there's not. We could have hit, like, the beacon. Say there was a beacon behind us. Sometimes there is one in containment. We could have hit the beacon and then see where the zone's going and then position ourselves accordingly to hold these guys out of the zone. In progress. If we lurk back here, cover yes, our back, I'm inside the next ring. likely these guys are going to end up fighting and then we can push up. Being inside that house right there is like the safest spot to be, but... I don't necessarily want to miss my opportunity to push up on these guys either. So he knocked him from the top of the house. This guy has disruptor rounds. He has a shotgun. We're watching the kill feed. We can see that. So just something to be aware of. We don't really want to stand still. We want to be strafing a lot when we fight this guy with his disruptors. We don't want them to hit us easily. Something we could do here if we want to is just go back to the choke. You know what? I'm going to do that. Let's just position ourselves. 30 just seconds go back, until close. take this high ground, very exciting. since I'm teaching what I'm trying to, this is a, like, we see where the zone goes, hey, I can go and take the high ground here, I can take this position, why not do it, if we're trying to win, we're not being, you know, super, super aggressive, and we're going for the victory, we see the zones here, only thing we really need to worry about is if someone comes up behind us, but we got the cages, you can't shoot through these cages, right, so we can use them as cover, Let's, uh, let's just let him go across the zip line here, if he's going to take it. And we can laser him off, off the zip. Phew. Inside the next ring. I, I hope he this. takes it. If he throws it up there not to take it, it'd be interesting. Maybe he realized that could be an issue. There it is, got him. So... If he takes that zip line there, it'd be easy peasy for us. Bad decision by this guy to shoot the dude that already is down, you know? He's gonna have to heal up on that. We're gonna nade him out of cover here. So take him out. This guy's got a res. Until close. This is very and he wants to die to the zone instead. So boom, there it is. We backed up, took a good position, made him way easier on us. We just waited, we're patient. We took the guy out as he came running into the circle. And you, you know, are the luckily champion. the other Pathfinder wasn't the, wasn't the smartest guy. Starts shooting the guy that's downed already, makes it a lot easier on us, you know. Sometimes those things happen. If you make the right decisions and you're patient, sometimes the game just comes to you. Uh, now that, I mean, that one wasn't a banger, but uh, I hope, like me talking through all that, helped you guys a little bit. Um, also, I mean, you might be watching this on YouTube because I'm probably going to throw it up there. Um, more of these videos will be coming. Um, so I hope it helps you a little bit. Maybe in some of these future games, we'll play a little bit more aggressive and we'll talk about that as well. Boom.